Hi guys, Demo's Douchebag here. Today I'm doing a demo on how to, on the easiest way to root your Kindle Fire HD, such as the one I have in front of me now. So what you want to do, you want to download this little thing here, not the one with the R on, the ES File Manager, or whatever you want to call it, ES File Manager I think it's called, um, and then you want so just you an easier so there's this one which is the ES file explorer this one's ES file explorer for cupcake so once you finish downloading that which is this um you want to um, you want to go onto your silk browser And then search. Excuse me for this. Um, you want to go into the actual um, link if you, sort of thing, if you want to call it. Um, and then type in one. Oops, that's eleven. One mobile. In fact, no. You need to go onto Google. Sorry, Google. Click go. So, so you've searched up Google. Okay. So you've got to here. Um. And then you want to. So, and so you click on the Google. My Google's probably going to be different to yours. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Uh, you when you get to here, you want to type in one mobile no spaces one no oh, damn it one mobile. One mobile, one mobile market. Okay, so there was a link that popped up below it, and it should say one mobile market, best Google Android apps market. So you click on that. Okay, and it should bring you to a screen that looks something like this. This shows a phone, but it doesn't have to be a phone. It obviously, because I'm doing it on the Kindle Fire, it can be the Kindle Kindle Fire. So you click download. And you do, and you use if you have the ES file manager or anything like that. You want to click ES download downloader. Um, wait for it to download. It shouldn't take too long to download. It's not as long as it says, I don't think. So you can see it's going pretty quick. So while it's loading, um, don't forget to check out my uh, other videos um, on this channel on the demos douchebag channel okay so it's finished downloading so you wanna just tap anywhere and then you wanna click home then go across to this and then click, and then when you're here you want to find download then your most recent one which is the six, the one that I've just downloaded this is the 621 this says replace application that's because I've already downloaded it, you want to click OK, and then down there, here, you want to click install, and you can see it's installing. Mine takes a little longer than others because um, I've got there isn't much memory left on it, but still, click open, and it takes you to something that looks like this and there's things like this so you want to go into the search bar click search bar and then click typing root um, search now it'll come up with a screen like this you want to click the one with the anchor which is this one here so you want to click that and I've already installed it but it'll say 
free so you just want to click the free and it will go on go on so and then it will start downloading it do not click pause or cancel otherwise you won't be able to get this thing okay so I'm going to click open and it should come up with this um, authorize um, my device is already rooted as you can see I'm going to keep it on the side um, so my device says here in fact now I'm gonna have it like that and then bring this back a tinsy bit um okay so you can see here you can see there it says device rooted more interesting tools with root permission okay so it'll see it oh crap It'll show, it should, when you're on, show, like, even if it says no access denied or something like that, you just want to click root now, and it'll say something like, we're rooting card now, um, and it'll come up, and then, it's, and then it'll finish. I think it's popping out of its stand. Um, so, when you've finished rooting, you want to go back... Um, and then you want to click. You want to type in root checker, and then you should see this one, the one with the squares that make up the tick, not the complete tick. So you just want to click that. Um, obviously I've already installed it. You want to click um, install, but I'll just open this one. Um, and then you want to go across to verify root, click verify root, and it should say, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. Oops. Um, so, that is how you root a Kindle Fire, guys. Um, so, you can upgrade to Pro, that doesn't really matter. You don't really have to do that. And there's root basics here. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that's that's it basically. That's how you root a Kindle Fire HD. And I'll uh, thanks for watching. In fact, no. Um, what's this? Let's have a look. We're gonna do some exploring the root sort of thing now. So, auto start. What's this? Oh, what's this do? Whatever. Maps back up. Okay, go away. Um. Okay, so that's about it, guys. See you guys later.